वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑडियो कॉम्प्रेशन दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ द सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज अ साउंड यू मे पॉज दिस वीडियो थिंक अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड राइट डाउन योर आंसर इन योर नोटबुक रिटर्न टू द वीडियो देन रिज्यूम द वीडियो एंड सी द आंसर लेट मी आंसर द क्वेश्चन द साउंड इज अ फिजिकल फिनामिन produced by the vibration of the matter such as violin string or the block of the wood as the matter vibrates pressure and variations are created in the air which is surrounding to it the high and low pressure alternation is propagated through the air like the wave motion now when this wave reaches to the ear of the human the sound is heard the basics of the sound a sound is produced by the vibration of the matter during the vibration the pressure variations are created in the air surrounding to it the pattern of this oscillation is called as a waveform the waveform repeats itself after the particular time of the interval which is called as a one period let us move to the frequency the frequency of the sound is reciprocal value of the period it represents the number of periods in second and it is measured in hertz or cycle per second kilohertz is used in order to indicate thousands of oscillations per second that means 1 kilohertz will be equal to 1000 hertz the frequency ranges are divided into infrared sound it varies from 0 to 20 hertz the human hearing frequency ranges from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz the ultrasound ranges from 20 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz and the hypersound ranges from 1 gigahertz to 10 terahertz a speech is a audio signal which is produced by the human or the music signals which have the frequency ranges in between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz the amplitude of the sound the amplitude of the sound is also called as loudness the amplitude of the sound is measure of the displacement of the air pressure waveform from its mean value the digital sound a digital audio data is actual representation of the sound which is stored in the form of samples samples represent the amplitude of the sound at discrete points in the time the quality of the digital recording depends on the sampling rate that is the number of samples taken per second the pcm technique which is used for the audio compression in pulse code modulation technique the analog input signal information is converted into the binary coded sequence that is ones and zeros the output of the pcm will be the binary coded sequence as shown in the figure there are three main steps in the pcm technique the first is the sampling then quantizing and then encoding sampling is nothing but the conversion of the analog signal into the discrete samples the quantization is nothing but the rounding of the samples to the nearest values and then encoding is nothing but the each quantized samples are coded into the binary data so let us move to the sampling the sampling is a periodic measure of the analog signal and it change the continuous time signal into the discrete time signal after the sampling the signal value is known only at a discrete points in the time these points are called as a sampling instant therefore continuous time signal curve can be described by the sample values the sampled values the value of the function at sampling point is nothing but the sampled values the sampling interval the time that separate the two sampling points is nothing but the sampling interval as per the sampling theorem the band limited signal can be reconstructed exactly if the sample it is sampled at the rate at least twice the maximum frequency component which is present in it that means fs should be greater than 2b that the b defined the band limited signal bandwidth so uh, we know that the ts that is time period is reciprocal of the frequency hence uh, sampling interval will be 1 upon 2b let me ask you the question the narrow band speech signal is limited to 0 to 4 kilohertz what should be the sampling rate and the sampling interval you may pause the video think about this question and write your answer in a notebook let me answer the question the sampling rate is 8 kilohertz because as per the sampling theorem the sampling rate should be twice than that of the uh, band uh, bandwidth of the baseband signal so if the 8 kilohertz is a sampling rate then the difference between the two consecutive sample will be 0.125 millisecond 
quantization each accurate sample value is rounded off to the closest numerical value in the given numerical set in quantizing process the information in accurate signal value is lost because of the rounding of the and original signal cannot be reproduced exactly anymore the more quantization steps can be used for the better performance for the binary coded the number of quantum levels are defined as q is equal to 2 raised to n where the q denotes the number of quantum levels and n is a length in the bits of the binary words that describe the sample values the difference between the quantized amplitude and the actual amplitude is called as a quantization error so more the quantization step there will be the lower quantization error coding the coding process will convert the discrete amplitude signal into the series of binary bits for the transmission and the storage as shown in figure the amplitude space is evenly divided into six different quantization step thus three bit binary codes can be used in order to convert this analog signal into the discrete signal so for the first sample the quantized amplitude is zero and it is coded bits into the 100 for the second sample the quantized amplitude is 2 and then it is coded into 010 the audio formats there are basically two audio formats the voice quality audio format and the cd quality audio format the voice quality audio format in this audio format the 8 bit encoded quantization level is used and the sampling rate is 8000 hertz this this is considered as a fast and accurate enough for the telephone quality speech input cd quality format in this the 16 bit linear pulse coded modulation technique is used for the quantization and the sampling rate is 44100 hertz this is a block diagram of the pcm encoder and decoder so these are the steps the low pass filter this filter eliminates the higher frequency component which is present at the input analog signal the sampler this is a technique which helps to collect the sample data at the instantaneous value of the message signal so in order to reconstruct the original signal the sampling rate must be greater than twice the highest frequency component of the message signal in accordance with the sampling theorem quantizer it quantizing process is used in order to reduce the excessive bits and con confining the data the sampler output when given to the quantizer reduces the redundant bits and compresses the value encoder the digitization of analog signal is done by the encoder it designate the each quantized value by the binary code regenerative repeater this section increases the signal strength the output of the channel also has a one regenerative re repeater circuit to compensate the signal loss and reconstruct the signal and also to increase its st strength decoder the decoder circuit decode the pulse coded waveform to reproduce the original signal this circuit act as a demodulator after the digital to analog conversion which is done by the regenerative circuit and the decoder the low pass filter is employed which is called as a reconstruction filter pulse code modulator circuit digitizes the given analog signal codes it and samples it and then transmit it in the analog form this whole process is repeated in a reverse pattern to obtain the original signal dpcm technique a differential pulse code modulation technique is a derivative standard of the pulse coded modulation technique this technique samples the analog signal then quantizes the difference between the sampled value and its predicted value then encode the signal to form the digital value for the most of the audio signal the range of differences in amplitude between the successive sample of the audio signal is less than the range of actual sample amplitude the sample of the signal are highly correlated with each other the signal's value from present sample to the next sample does not differ by any large amount the adjacent samples of the signal carry the same information with the small differences hence if the difference between the value is digitized and encoded then the fewer bits are required than the pulse coded modulator signal at the same sampling rate so principle of the differential pulse code modulation is nothing but if the redundancy is reduced then overall bit rate will be decreases and the number of bits required to transmit the sample will be also reduced this type of the digital pulse modulation technique called as 
a differential pulse mo code modulation technique. A DPCM works on the principle of the prediction. The value of the present sample is predicted from the previous sample. The prediction may not be exact, but it is very close to the actual sample value. A DPCM encoder is shown in the figure. The PCM coded mesh signal is given to the subtractor. Uh, basically, a predicted value is stored into the register. So the PCM sample and the predicted samples are subtracted and then uh, converted uh, by the parallel to serial conversion for the transmission. This subtracted value is also added with the previous value of the register in order to update the value of the register. At the decoder side, the data will be arranged to the serial to par parallel converter. So this will convert that serial data into the parallel and then it is added with the predicted value of the register. And then this added value is decoded by the PCM decoded decoder and we will get the audio message signal. So what is the difference between the PCM and DPCM audio compression? The number of bits which is required for the PCM uses 4, 8 or 16 bit per sample where in case of the differential pulse code modulation less than that of the PCM bits are required. Step size. The fixed step size is used in this PCM modulation technique. Here the fixed number of the levels are used. Uh, redundant bits are present. It can be removed permanently in case of the DPCM. Quantization error and the distor uh, distortion. It depends on the number of levels which are used. And here in case of the DPCM, slope overloaded, distortion and quantization noises are present but very less as compared to the PCM. The bandwidth, the higher bandwidth is needed for the PCM and uh, for the DPCM a lower bandwidth is needed. So these are the references which are used for the session. Thank you.